Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, tonight I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, one of my readers um, told me about a new browser that uh, is in beta right now. I'm going to take you to their website. Um, and he wants me to test it out. Now the reason, um, normally I don't test out browsers. It's just kind of hard to gauge security on a browser. It's more about does the browser have a vulnerability? It's not like testing an AV or anything like that. Um, so browser security testing, that's much harder to do and it involves uh, more work than I can do in a video right now for you guys. Um, so let's go to Google. It's called Epic Browser. If you go to epicbrowser.com uh, this is made by an Indian company. It uh, says the first ever web browser for India, and it's got uh, a sidebar apps. Um, it's got a bunch of themes and wallpapers for Indian themes and wallpapers, uh, Indian languages, different styles of writing. Um, and uh, it also, these are some of the partners, sidebar applications, Google, Gmail, Food Network, all sorts of different things. Uh, it's also compatible with the Firefox plugins. Um, but the interesting thing is, uh, here's the partners, as you can see, that they partnered with. The interesting one is they partnered with ESA, um, which is an antivirus company, if you guys don't know. Now, the interesting thing about that is, um, what they did is, ESA is, I suspect, donating their some of their signatures, if not all of their signatures, to the web browser. This is what it looks like when it's open. Um, it's really, really bright for my taste. It's a little really flashy and everything. Um, but I suspect that some people like these that like it like this, so that's that's fine. Uh, let's go over it real quick here. You have your normal back front reload buttons. It's also got a private browsing mode, which is right there, and it's got a clear browsing data button, which uh, are out and exposed. That's kind of nice. Here's that tab that they were talking about. If you click on it, you can see it opens up, and it's got uh, this is uh, news from India, um, different. Uh, types of uh, text that you can type in. Um, you can change the skins. Here's the antivirus that I was talking about. Uh, powered, like I said, by ESET. You can do a uh, scan my folders, scan my system. Um, if you scan my system, it'll scan everything. Normally it will uh, update automatically from what I can uh, tell. Uh, it's also got write snippets, videos, um, Twitter, Gmail, all sorts of different things, travel, jobs, games. Um, you can go to your downloads um, and everything else in between that you could probably want to do. So we're going to abort the scan for right now. And what I have is um, some malware links, some old, some new. Now, I also heard that um, because it is in still in beta, it does use a little bit more RAM than uh, normal browsers use, but it's not too bad. So, like right now on this PC, it's using about 44 uh, megs, but that's not, no tabs are open. So, let's open some tabs here. Let's see, Oop, I didn't spell that right. Uh, msn.com okay so we have like three tabs open I usually work with a ton of tabs and you can see RAM's fairly high usage um, and it's still a little bit slow I'm on a fast connection but it loaded up some of these pages a little bit slower but let's try out some of these malware links so you can kinda see how it does. Some of these are uh, really new, some of these are really old. Kind of get a little thing in between. So it opens up the download tab 
and this one is this is your result here it says undefined if you want to run the program you can open the file open the folder you can delete the file or you can just remove it from the list it's all right there so let's try the next one I swear some of these were detected by ESET. I specifically picked a couple that were detected by them and a couple that weren't. Hmm. The browser might be having a little bit of trouble. Uh, last time I tested it, this afternoon, it, it did work. For some odd reason right now it does it's not working like it's supposed to. That one's dead. Hmm. Alright, so let's do it this way then. We'll do the test a little bit differently. Let's go to downloads and let's open up all these files. Okay, so they all should be open right now. Now, I am going to scan my system. So what I'm going to do is uh, let this scan, and I will be back when it's done. And uh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'll try to get back into uh, the PC and do a scan with the built-in uh, part there. So I'll be back. Okay, so finished scanning here. It scanned 48,000 uh, files. It found six infections um, that were found and healed. 189 files could not be scanned uh, and eight files could not be healed. So, that's uh, kind of interesting. So, it found these, but it couldn't do anything about them. Uh, I suspect the reason being is um, it's probably not using the full um, engine from ESET, uh, but it did remove some of them. Now, when it was working right, I suspect that it would have stopped some of them from being downloaded. Uh, this is a little neat feature, and uh, it'd be interesting to see other companies... Um, start using their signatures and things like that part of a browser in this way um, let's see here okay yeah uh, so, so the nice thing about this is one it scans files when you're downloading them um, for some reason it didn't work for mine so when I restarted it started working again um, and the other thing is that if you do scan every now and then and you have an infection, it'll tell you one thing. Uh, the current antivirus you have isn't working and let something through. And uh, it's kind of like a little check that you can do every now and then uh, with a different antivirus signatures while not having the problem of running two of them at the same time on your computer. But let me stress that this is in no way a replacement for a standalone antivirus product. Uh, seeing as I don't have anything installed here, this computer is still majorly infected. You can see, definitely we have infection here, adware, multiple threats, um, all sorts of different things. So um, this isn't a replacement, but it's actually a pretty interesting um, alternative uh, browser that's out there. And it's one of the ones that, it's one of the only ones that I've seen that does uh, this type of um, 
putting itself together with an antivirus vendor a, a partnership, whatever you want to call it, um, to date. Um, what else did I want to show you guys here? You can, uh, it has add-ons, and if you go to the Epic add-ons, and let's say you don't want all these things, you can hide some of these. So, so you want to hide that one, that, that. Uh, things I would hide personally um, and not worry about having. Uh, maps, it uses Google Maps. Uh, let's see here. So this is how I'd probably I don't know how to do that. You know, so you can just pick whatever you want. Um, you know, whatever you feel like you need on this side here, you can adjust it. So you don't have to worry about uh, having different things. And you can adjust uh, the different wallpaper here in the background. Um, different things. I also wanted to show you what happens if you go to... Uh, wait a minute. I need to find a website that doesn't, well if you go to a website that doesn't, that doesn't work that gives you a, a 404 error um, what you do is you get some of these little things here hold on let me find one I'll show you what I mean okay here we go I got it to reproduce um, all I have to do is disconnect from the internet but now let's say you find a website that doesn't work it gives you a server error some kind of different thing uh, the nice thing is it's got it, these different buttons already built into the page here so you can go back you can retry you can search you can ping the website uh, or you can try to find a cached version of this website. So, you know, you can use Google way back at Coral in case uh, maybe you can find the website that went down, but you can find an earlier version of it. So that's something nice that I like here. Um, that's pretty much it. If you open up a private browsing mode, you can do that right there. Um, no history cookies, cache pages, you know, the usual private browsing things. Um, Let's see what else web search um, you can search right here that's pretty much it everything else is kind of like um, it's just standard Firefox things so there you go hope you guys um, uh, like this video uh, I'll talk to everybody later and take care